Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video today about the uh, GIS systems that exist in Israel. These are really, really useful resources um, if you're interested in mapping and what's on the ground here and borders and that kind of thing. Uh, these are basically, a GIS firstly stands for a geographic information system. And these are basically maps that have a lot of information that can be superimposed in the formal layer. So you might be wondering, and I'll go into the GIS in a second, well, what's the difference between um, the GIS system and Google Maps or uh, OpenStreetMaps or any different mapping system? And really it's in the data. They have the same common function of a map being displayed and you can zoom around the map and move around the map. Uh, but whereas if we take Google Maps, for instance, you can toggle on or off a live traffic layer in the GIS system, if you, if you toggled on every single layer, there would be virtually nothing that you could actually see because there's just so much information um, available on the map. Now, in Israel, there are two main GIS systems or types of GIS systems available. One of those is the national GIS system that's called GovMap and the URL is govmap.gov.al. These are free public resources, so you don't actually need to pay for access to them. Uh, GovMap actually does have an API. So if you are a developer and you want to integrate the data from GovMap, uh, into uh, an open source application, you can actually do that. And I've seen some really interesting uh, projects here, uh, but you don't need to pay. And I don't think they're restricted to Israel even. I just tried to access GovMap from a Australian VPN and I was able to get it. So um, these are basically public resources. You can do everything from find out where, what, where exactly the boundaries of area A, B and C are through to finding out the municipal boundaries for neighborhoods, through to finding out the uh, city boundary, exactly where that is. Um, and uh, the list goes on and on and on. So I'm just gonna jump into the first one of these. So this is GovMap. Now GovMap is, as I said, the national GIS system. So this one is not restricted to anywhere in Israel. You can zoom in or zoom out and you can turn on the layers and there's info. Then the local government bodies maintain their own GIS system. So the Jerusalem Munis municipality has one, Tel Aviv have, has one, Elat has one, I think Haifa has one. Even smaller cities have their own GIS systems. Uh, but let's just take the national one and go on to Jerusalem. So I've done videos on a few aspects of the GIS that I found uh, useful myself. One of, those, one of those is the area ABC layer. Now on the side, you can see you have uh, Shikhvot, um, which basically stands for, or means, I should say, layers. And you have at the bottom here a button saying Shikhvot uh, Meda Nosafot, additional layers. As I always say, the pronunciation of my Hebrew could be, Im probably is imperfect. Uh, but that's what those buttons mean. And what, what I've just toggled on here is the area ABC layer. And what the information you're seeing on the map is exactly where areas A, B, and C are. Now, you might be wondering, well, why would this be useful? People are sometimes posting on social media groups, you know, where can I meet? Uh, is there somewhere I can meet a, a Palestinian person? And as I've done a video before, it's technically illegal for Israelis to enter area A, the West Bank. So if for no other reason than you want to know exactly where is area A, you can actually see with great precision the boundaries of area A. So this is Ramallah here. And this is, uh, if we click on to uh, Tziluma Vir and we get into our satellite imagery, suddenly we get access to very, very high quality satellite imagery. Now it does say in the information layer here, uh, you have Odot uh, Hashikva. There used to be info there. I'm not seeing it anymore. That's interesting. Anyway, whatever the origin or the provenance of this layer, uh, it's very, very detailed. You can see that technically this soccer field is apparently not in area A and all these houses are in area A. So if you compare this to the kind of information you can get from uh, the UN maps. This is on a completely different level. Um, you can do a few different things. You can also do, if I want to do save, uh, you can export some of this as a um, as an image. You can download it. And if you want to use the API, you need to be a registered user. So that is the area ABC uh, filter or layer is really the better word. So I'm just going to take that off. And now all that stuff's been cleared from the map. So um, you can do, I mean, there's just a lot, a lot of information. So let's just call it all up for a second. Shukvot meda nosvot. And we can see here, uh, you can filter by, <clears throat> there is just a lot of information. I'm, I'm trying to find something more obscure. Atre camping, so camping sites. Um, 
I'm just going to turn this one on, add it to the map. And I don't think in Jerusalem we're going to find any camping sites, but uh, you can find there's a camping site here. And generally, if you click on top of a symbol, if once you add a layer, you'll be able to get some information about that layer. As you can see here, there is information about this particular camping site. So you can literally search around the whole, uh, the whole country, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's also a tool here you can do stuff like export you can select so let's say i have a camping site layer turned on you can also draw over a shape and it'll export all the information found so you can see within the box i just drew there it's located one camping site and then i can also usually yeah i can export this to a, a xlx format now this is all completely free this is actually a tremendous resource uh, that you can use i just it just popped open on this screen and now i've got a spreadsheet with the information I pulled out of the GIS. So that's the National GIS. This is the API documentation for the National GPS available at api.govmap.gov.il. Then you have the uh, city GIS system. So for instance, this is a GIS system of the Jerusalem municipality, uh, which is up on the area's website. And you can click on to uh, GPS. And I just clicked into it here. Uh, now this is the Jerusalem GIS. Now the difference is, as you can see, it's only doing Jerusalem. There's just great stuff elsewhere. So, you know, what I could do here is there is a layer, I believe, for Gvul Ha'ir, the municipal boundary. That may not exactly equate with what's on the map. So you can see, for instance, here there's a little bit of uh, data or territory in the GIS system that's actually beyond the municipal boundary. So this is exactly where the defined municipal boundary is, which is really interesting to know. You might wonder if a particular part. So this actually shows you an interesting situation that you have some places that are after the security wall uh, that Israel built to protect itself from uh, attackers from the Palestinian territories. For instance, this is quite well known, Kfar Akab or Kfar Akab in Arabic is actually within the municipal boundary as you can see here on the GIS. It's within this blue dotted layer and if I go into the, and likewise on this particular, um, on this particular uh, GIS system you can toggle between satellite imagery. So uh, let's go for, uh, I'm going to change here to satellite imagery. Uh, let's just see here. Okay. And we were saying that this territory, uh, Kafir Akab, is within the Jerusalem municipal boundary, and it's actually past the security security barrier. Now, to the best of my knowledge, there isn't a layer for that. Uh, but this is kind of the checkpoint here with Kalandia, and the wall probably comes. I think comes around somewhere like this. I think this is the wall, as you can see. This is a security barrier. You can see the patrol road there. You can see it skirting around the place. Um, and so all this is past the security barrier. And yet all this place is technically defined in Jerusalem. So these are the kind of interesting things uh, you can discover in GIS. Now this is the Tel Aviv municipality GIS. Again, it looks slightly different, but they tend to have pretty similar uh, layers of information. Um, and you can see this is the uh, Tel Aviv one. So Chinuch uh, Vadat, Childhood Services and Religious Services, uh, Batei Sefer, uh, so let's turn on uh, synagogues and now look at this I can see all the different shuls or synagogues in Tel Aviv so to an extent you might say this information overlaps with uh, what's available in Google Maps you could search Google Maps for synagogues but this this is like the official data maintained by uh, Tel Aviv now look at some more cool things I can do you'll see there's a filter icon uh, next to the uh, the layer in this case the synagogue layer and I can actually filter different things. So Shemer Chov, Nusach Tfila, right? This is crazy. So Nusach Tfila is a um, is a filter here, and the options are Ashkenaz, Klali, Eduta Mizrach, or Timani. So let's go for uh, let's go for Eduta Mizrach and click on Snan for filter. And now I should be showing. I believe. I hope it might take a second to update. Now I'm only showing the Eduta Mizrach synagogues in Tel Aviv. And as before, I can click onto any one and I should be able to get information. Now, as you can see, the Tel Aviv one is a little bit on the laggier side, I would say. It's taking a real while to load the information here. 
Uh, but if I click on one, if it will let that work for me. Okay, it's having a it's having a slow day, but that's the uh, that's the Tel Aviv one. Okay. Um, here is the Eilat GIS system. So this is just for the town of Eilat in the south of Israel. And it's kind of like the Jerusalem and Tel Aviv ones in that it's only uh, available for the city. And it kind of stops here at the road going out to Taba, the border with Egypt. And uh, that is it. So that was just a quick overview um, of the GIS systems. I think they're amazing resources. If you have a query about what electricity networks in your area, where the cellular antennas are, where the municipal boundary is, there's way more information accessible through these than there is through uh, Google Maps. And they're free to use. I'll put the URLs for the uh, National Jerusalem and Tel Aviv ones in the description. Thank you for watching.